That's right, Kelly. Today in 1997, this book came out in the UK, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. A year later, the American publisher Scholastic swapped the word out philosopher, put in sorcerer instead. From there, we've seen all seven books, the accompanying eight movies, the spin-offs, everything else since then. But here's an interesting fact. When you look at the total franchise, how much money it's made, the books, the merchandise, and the box office, they've each made $8 billion equally. So they've been just as important together. When you see other movie franchises, one category usually far outpaces the others. That's not the case with Harry Potter. You take that $24 billion, you add the DVDs, that's about three billion purchases and rentals, along with theme park admissions. Now you're approaching almost $30 billion in total value in just 20 years. That's a billion and a half per year. Take a look at our own parent company, NBC Universal. They bought the TV rights to the films to go along with the theme park rights that it already owned, and that's part of the spiral to get younger audiences into the franchise. They want to get them to watch it on, you know, watch it on TV, watch the movies, experience the theme parks. You keep that cycle going over and over again for the people that are less than 20 years old. When you look at the latest quarterly earnings, the Universal Studios Hollywood, they even said that their attendance rose 60%, primarily due to the recently added Harry Potter attraction. Back to you, Kelly. You know, Eric, Mike and I were just looking it up. I think General Mills has about a $30 billion market cap. So that, right. her, you know, J.K. Rowling has created, her creative spark has been a $30 billion enterprise, which is not too shabby. That much value. Um, my guess is uh, higher profit margins than General Mills uh, enjoys. <laughs> Although, yeah, you know, confusing revenue with market and, cap and all the rest, but still. By the way, Eric, did you see the Domino's Pizza that has a Harry Potter right. uh, scar today? Right, Domino's Pizza, Twitter, Facebook, Google, they've all done something unique and interesting, like fun hashtag emojis and, and custom Google um, Earth things as well like that. Eric. Have you read any of the Harry Potter books? Uh, I've been catching up. I'm a little behind myself. <laughs> I haven't done all seven. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.